So here's two ways of looking at the problem of consciousness, which is also known as the mind-body problem. You have the dualists, who originated with Rene Descartes and who broadly say that mind and matter are fundamentally different. Substance dualism says that these are actually different types of, well, substance, that mind is made out of different stuff from matter and isn't governed by the laws of physics. Property dualists say that there's only one kind of stuff in the universe, matter, but that matter has different types of properties. Some are physical, like size and texture, you know, the measurable qualities, and other are mental, like emotions and beliefs. But ultimately, whether they are different types of stuff or just different types of property, mind and matter are just that, they're different. So broadly speaking, that's the dualist position. The monists, on the other hand, think that there's only one type of stuff in the universe. That's where the word comes from, monos. That's Greek, ancient Greek for one. Physicalists and materialists think that matter is the only thing that exists in the universe. And to a physicalist like the philosopher Daniel Dennett, the mind or consciousness can be explained entirely by physical processes in the brain. But you could ask, okay, fine, but why does it feel like something subjectively? Why couldn't we be like computers, you know, processing information but unaware of it? And then it responds, well, you are like a computer. Your subjective feeling of consciousness is just an illusion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think this sounds like bullshit, it's because it is. Daniel Dennett is saying that you're not actually thinking, you just think you're thinking. Which of course is nonsense, because it doesn't answer the question, it just removes it by a degree. And you'll often find that with materialists, that they don't explain consciousness, they just change the definition to mean physical processes in the brain, and then entirely bypass the question of why it feels like anything. And then you have a position that I find fascinating, and it's another form of monism, called idealism. And idealists are still saying that there's only one type of stuff in the universe, but they're saying it's the mind stuff, and that it's matter that is just an illusion. And you know what? This theory is backed by Hindu and Buddhist philosophers who talk about the veil of Maya, you know, the material illusion which we inhabit. And of course, the philosopher Bishop Barclay believes that ideas are the only thing that really exist. And I did a segment on him a while ago, which I'll echo later. But most interestingly, Max Planck, the Nobel Prize physicist and founder of quantum theory, puts it like this. As a man who has devoted his whole life to the most clear-headed science and to the study of matter, I can tell you as a result of my research about atoms this much. There is no matter as such. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of force which brings the particle of an atom to vibration and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together." Unquote. And if this sounds like bullshit, let me show my bias and try to explain. Neuroscience tells us that what is out in the world is unknowable. We just see and hear a convenient user interface that is only a tiny sliver of actual reality, reconfigured in a way we can easily interact with like a desktop icon on your computer. It's not the full program because you wouldn't understand the actual code of the program. Fine. So we know that what we're seeing isn't the full picture and that whatever we know is filtered through our senses. Okay. And although it's unlikely, we don't really know that we're not in a simulation or a dream or a matrix or some really high definition illusion because if we were, by definition, we wouldn't know we were. So, I ask you this, what is the one thing that we 100% definitely, definitely know? That no matter what, even if it's an illusion, you are experiencing something. Okay, maybe the you there is also an illusion, the illusion of self, but even granted that, something is happening to someone or something. There is thought, and it's subjective. Subjective experience, mind, consciousness, is the only thing we know 100% for certain exists. So whatever you believe, consciousness has got to be factored into our thinking about the universe.